Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Easy Theory. So we're going to continue from where we left off. So we were talking about these objects called DFAs, deterministic finite automata. And what we wanted to do was to get a DFA for concatenation and uh, for star. And what does that mean? Well, re recall that the concatenation language, A concatenated with B, is the set of all strings wx such that w is in a and x is in b. And the problem that we had with DFAs and trying to get this where we had a DFA for a and a DFA for b was that there's no split point in between these two strings. So because the DFA can't instantaneously jump from a state to another state without reading a character, then it seems quite difficult for a DFA to be able to do this. It might be possible, but it's just that our techniques for trying to do it directly are, let's just say that they were quite troubled. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to make it work with as little work as possible. So let's imagine the scenario that we had before. So we had a, well, let's just say we have a DFA D sub A for the language A and a DS, DFA D sub B for B. So these are the DFAs corresponding to these languages, these regular languages. So let's just say that this is D sub A and here is D sub B. Let me scroll down so you can see. So D sub B is here. And let's just say that this thing D sub B has some final states and a start state. D sub A also has a start state and maybe some final states. So in order to get the concatenation language, what we discussed last time is that because the string W comes first, um, and that's the one that's in A, we need to read some string that is, that is in the language A, which means that the DFA D sub A accepts this string W. So that means that we need to come to one of the final states because the DFA accepts it, and then somehow instantaneously jump over to here to be able to go through this DFA because X is accepted by the other DFA. We need to come over to this start state instantaneously and end up at one of the final states here. So that means we shouldn't make these two states, in this case, not final and leave these ones final because we need to go through both machines in order for uh, this whole string to be accepted. So we need to have some kind of transition that goes from the final states of the first one into the start state of the next one in order to, to start doing the second half. But the problem is, how do we read a string? How do we go over a transition without reading anything? Well, a DFA can't do that, so we got to do something more general. Well, the string that corresponds to not having any characters at all is the empty string. So maybe we could, in it, or at least adorn these transitions with epsilon to, to try to indicate, hey, you can take a transition that you normally would have done, or you're allowed to take this transition over to here. So this joining of these two machines is not deterministic anymore because with this transition we're not required to take it because whatever character is next I could just take the existing transition over here because this thing is a DFA this state or any final state or any state over here for that matter has every transition on every symbol already because it's a DFA so this transition over to here is extra. So therefore, you're not required to actually ever take this transition. But if we want to accept the string at some point, we must take it because the only final states are over here. There's no final states over here. So for that reason, we have some kind of non-deterministic behavior. And that's what we're going to call a non-deterministic non-deterministic finite automaton and the shorthand for this is NFA okay so 
the basic idea is we're just going to try to mimic this type of behavior. We can have all the usual amenities of a DFA, but we have two, pos two different things that we can do. So we can have one of those transitions with epsilon on them, which we're going to call an epsilon transition. But we can also have this situation where, let's just say on symbol A, we go to another state just like before. But we can also have another transition on A to a different state, potentially. So we're allowed to have multiple transitions on the same symbol. And to we might as well just shoot the moon on this one. We could have some transitions just completely left out here. Because if we're trying to make something that's not deterministic, we might as well just throw away anything that we needed with deterministic. Before, we needed every single transition to be there. For every state, every possible transition is there. But here, we're, we might as well just assume that we don't actually need all of that. So that's actually quite interesting then. So we can get concatenation really easily. So this is an NFA right here for A concatenated with B. So that means that if we have two regular languages, A and B, I can make an NFA for them just by doing this, by making these states not final and uh, epsilon transition over to here. Well, how do we do star then? I shouldn't do black to color. Let's do green. So how about NFA for uh, L1 star, or maybe A star, because I use the name A. Well, remember, star just means that you go through the machine as many times as you want. So let's just say that we had a DFA for the language A right here, D sub A, and let's say that it has two final states, just as an example. Well, here, we need to accept the empty string no matter what because the empty string is in the star of any language. So therefore, this start state should be final, but I can't just make this state final. And I invite you to write into the comments what, you th what the reason is why I can't make this state directly final. So one thing we can do is to make a brand new start state that is final and epsilon our, trans, our way in. That way we're guaranteed to accept the empty string, but we're not changing any of the behavior inside of the DFA, D sub A here. Well, because we have star here, we need to be able to go back through the machine as many times as we want. So we can actually do something like this, where we have epsilon transitions from the final states here, because Star just means a whole bunch of concatenations, where each of the strings is in the, in the language A. So that means that we read a string from A, and then optionally go through the machine again and again and again as many times as, we, as our heart desires. So this is an NFA for A star then, but we get something in it additionally. We can actually do unions really compactly. So what about an NFA for A union B? Did I do? Yeah, I did A and B. So let's just have our two DFAs right here. We'll only need the start states for these. Well, what we can do is note that in order to accept something in the union, we either accept something in A or in B. So if I had a choice as to what to do, either go through the DA machine or the DA DB machine, then that's great. DFAs didn't have uh, any choice whatsoever. So what we can do with an NFA is we can make a, st a start state here, an epsilon transition over to the, uh, the, starts, the original start states of these machines. Why does this work? Because if we're in this start state right here, we have an option of taking either path. And by the nature of non-determinism, 
what we'll do is we'll choose a path that works if one of them works. I'll talk about what non-determinism truly means in the next video, but essentially what it means is that we have a choice as, as to which way to go, and the NFA make, picks a choice, so therefore we go into one of the two, and then therefore it's either accepted by the DFA D sub A or the D sub B machine, which means we do get an NFA for A union B. So one thing to note is that this does not show that the regular languages are closed under star and for concatenation because we made an NFA here. We didn't make a DFA. And we haven't shown that NFAs are equivalent to DFAs. If they are, then they are closed under concatenation and star, but we haven't shown that yet. And that's something that we'll eventually show at some point. So I hope that was interesting. Leave a comment below if you were able to find that out a different way. Please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps with the growth of the channel, especially commenting. Please comment. Um, and as always, I'll see you next time.